What's up everyone, it's Snarky Burritos here on play.horizonsmc.net and today we're going to be taking a look at an amazing plugin called Crazy Crates. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the four crates that come preloaded with the plugin. These are just example crates and I'll show you how to edit them and create your own crates later in the video. But first let's take a quick look at the example crates. The command to set a crate is slash cc set and then the crate name. The name of the preloaded crates are Basic, Classic, Crazy, and Galactic, and they each come with their own unique animation. There are 10 different animations to choose from with this plugin. You can set any block in game as one of these crates. There's also a menu that can be set as any block which opens the GUI. So if you do slash CC set menu, it'll set this block as a menu. The GUI is fully customizable in the config. So I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of the crates. Slash CC set classic slash cc set crazy or actually we're gonna set this one as galactic slash cc set crazy you can see that there are holograms above each crate you can enable or disable these in the config they will not show up at all if you do not have the holographic displays plugin you can preview a crate simply by punching it so as we can see these are the possible rewards from this crate now let's go ahead and grab a physical key for each of these crates. So we can do that by typing slash cc admin and as you can see here are all the keys for each of the crates. We can take either a physical or virtual key. So let's go ahead and take four physical keys. You can also obtain keys or give keys to players by typing slash cc give physical or virtual the crate name, the amount, and the player. And we received another key. Now let's go ahead and open each of these crates. So the first one we're going to open is the basic crate. Now onto the classic. Galactic. And on to the crazy. Now this one is kind of interesting because of the animation it has you can actually set a schematic for this pedestal in the config. So that was just a short preview to some of the different crates that you can make. Now we're going to jump into the config and show you how to make your own crates. Alright, here we are in the files of the plugin. The first thing we are going to take a look at is the config.yml file. In this plugin, the config.yml is mostly devoted to the Crazy Crates GUI. I'm going to go ahead and open this with Atom as my preferred text editing tool. The first thing that we're going to change is the prefix. So let's say I want to make it, let's just make it crates. The prefix is what comes before any message that the plugin sends in game. The rest of this, as I said earlier, is devoted to the Crazy Crates GUI. I'm not going to go over it right now just to save some time. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the actual crates folder. This is where you will edit, delete, or create crates. Each crate has its own .yml file. Right here we have the four crates that come with the plugin. I'm going to show you how to create your own crate. To do this, we can just copy the basic crate and paste it. And then we're going to rename it to the name of the crate that we would like. Let's say I want to create a vote crate which we can give a key to players who vote for our server. I'm going to rename this crate to vote.yml. Now let's go ahead and edit this with Adam. The first setting that we have is the crate type. This is the animation that the crate will perform in-game when opened. Remember, these are the settings for the basic crate, so we're going to go ahead and change them to how we want our vote crate to look and perform. Here are the 10 different animations. So I'm going to put this as the wheel animation. Here's the crate name of the crate in game. So I'm going to put that as green and bolded vote crate. Here we are using bucket color codes. Preview name. This is what will show up in the rewards GUI. I'm going to put this as green and bolded as well and make it vote crate preview. This is the amount of keys that a player will start with. I'm going to leave that as zero. Do we want our crate to be in the GUI? I'm going to make this false because for now we don't. And this doesn't matter since it's false. 
Do we want a broadcast when a player opens a crate? I'm going to leave that as true, but I'm going to change that to green and bolded. Now, to put a player name in chat, that's just percent sign player percent sign. We'll use that for commands and messages. This is the item that the crate would be in the GUI. I'm going to leave it as chest. And if it was just glowing, which is false because we're not using the GUI, and it doesn't really matter for now. And the name of the crate in the GUI. I'm going to go ahead and change that to vote crate as if we were using it. Green and bolded. Okay. And this is the lore. I'm going to leave that the same. Now, these are some settings for the preview. Do we want a preview on? I'm going to leave that as true so players can see the possible rewards. How many lines do we want to have in it? I'm going to leave that as three. And glass is glass that will appear on the first and the last lines of the preview. I'm going to leave that as true, but I'm going to change it to lime stained glass pane because we're going for a green theme here. So what will happen is the first and the third lines will be lime stained glass pane and in the middle we'll have a rewards. Physical key. Here are some of the settings for the key. So I'm going to go ahead and change the name to vote key and make it green and bolded. All right. And then the lore, I'm going to leave that the same, but you can change what the lore for the key is. The item is going to be a tripwire hook and we want it glowing true. Hologram. Now this is if a hologram will appear above the crate. You will need to have the holographic displays plugin installed for this to work. I'm going to leave that as true and the height as 1.5 the message that the hologram will say. I'm going to change that to vote crate. And now we're going to move on to the prizes. Here we have three different prizes that come with the basic crate. We're going to change them to the prizes that we want for our vote crate. For each prize we have to set a display name and item for the prize in the rewards preview. The first prize I'm going to have is just a simple diamond. So we'll set the display name to blue diamond. The display item will be a diamond. This has to be in all caps. The display amount represents how many of the items will appear in the preview. We're going to leave this as one since players will only be winning one diamond. The lore is what will show up in the preview when you hover over the item with your cursor. I'm going to change it to simply a diamond. This isn't actually the chance that the players will have to obtain this item. This is what we're telling them the chance that they will have. Here are enchantments that will show up on the item in the preview. We don't need any because it's a simple diamond. So we'll go ahead and delete those and just do some empty brackets. The max range is what all of the chances should add up to. I would recommend leaving this as 100. The chance is the actual chance out of the max range that you have to win this item. Let's change that to 30 because we told the players it would be a 30% chance. We have the option to launch a firework when the price is won, and we have the option to make the item glowing. It wouldn't make sense to make the item unbreakable because it's a diamond. Now, for the actual items, this is if you want to add items to your reward, and we do. We want to make the item a diamond. We want to make the amount 1, and we want to make the name in blue diamond. Here you can add commands that will be executed by the console when the prize is won. I'm going to go ahead and remove this for this prize. Here are messages that the plugin will send to the player when the prize is won. So for this, let's change that to you just won a diamond. We'll go over blacklisted permissions in a little bit. Now that our first item is complete, let's move on to our second. For our second item, we're going to give players a chance to win three vote keys inside the vote crate. So we're going to rename this to green and bold three vote key. So for a display item, we're going to set that as a tripwire hook because that's what we have most of our keys as. The display amount will be 3 this time, so 3 will show up in the preview. And for our lore, we're going to change that to win 3 times vote key. And the chance will make it a 
40% chance. And this time we're not going to have any items because it is a key which requires a command. So we're going to do that. We're going to add the commands line. For our command, we're going to do cc give physical vote three percent sign player percent sign just like so and that should be the command that will give the player who wins this item three vote keys now we're gonna also add a message to it so we gotta add the messages line and our message will be you just won three times vote key. All right, on to our final item. We're actually going to leave this one the same because it is giving away money. So, the display name, $1,000. Display item, sunflower. Display amount, one. The lore, make it rain money, chance. We're going to change this to 40% because we want it to all add up to 100 our firework is true commands eco give percent sign player percent sign 1000 that is the essentials command to give someone a thousand dollars now for the messages you just won a thousand dollars and for the blacklisted permissions this is the permission that will make it impossible for them to win the same prize twice what you do is you add to the command using your permissions plugin you give them the command to give them that permission and when they have that permission, they will not be able to win this prize twice. Instead, it will give them this prize down here. This is the alternative prize. And it will say, Crazy Crates, you have already won that prize, so enjoy some gold nuggets. We're going to change this to just crates to match our prefix. All right, so now that we've gone through that, we're going to go ahead and go save this. And we're going to move back into the files and now we're going to take a look at the messages YML. We're going to open that with Adam and as you can see here there is every message for the entire plugin right here. Just to save some time I'm not going to actually change any of these but you can yourself if you'd like. Alright so we're going to go ahead and save these files and go back in game alright everyone we are back in game now so to reload the files you slash cc reload and as you can see our prefix has changed to crates instead of crazy crates as it previously was so let's go ahead and grab a chest and do our command to set a vote crate slash cc set vote and it's been set so that means it was set up correctly now to go into the preview you punch it and here are the three items we set. Let's go ahead and try to open it. So slash CC admin. Take a vote key and open it. And we received our reward. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching this plugin tutorial. I will leave a link to the plugin in the description down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon on play.horizonsmc.net.